Hi everybody, it's Heidi from The Vegan Crafter. Hope you guys are doing well, enjoying your late spring. Um, I'm doing okay, been doing all right. Decided to do a yarn haul video because I cannot touch any of this new yarn until I show it to you, that's my rule. And it actually is a yarn haul video. I know my last yarn haul, people are like, Heidi, that's really not a haul. But this one is because it's a compilation of Mother's Day and my husband being out of town. So it's actually a really good haul. But anywho, um, I haven't been doing much since um, the last time I spoke. I have some finished projects, but I'll do a video about that later. I did get over 400 views on my last video. And if you notice, I only have like 69 subscribers. But my title was Nips, Whips, and Apocalypse. So either I have pervy people coming to look, preppers coming to look, or pervy preppers coming to look. So I think I'm going to do an experiment where I'll put Nips in one title and Apocalypse in another, and we'll see which one gets more views. But we'll do that next time. But anyway, so let's start with my yarn haul. So... I was looking through my yarn and I realized I was very low on sock yarn and I love to make socks you know I, I make about how many did I make last year I think I made like 13 pair last year well anyway so I went on to Joann's and they were having a really good sale on premier yarn and premier sock yarn is the only kind of yarn I get and I get their um, wool free sock yarn so the first one I got is this Premier Brights and the color name is neon orange so you can see there is gray and orange and black it's beautiful I hope that's in focus again I still have crap glasses so I don't know but it is really really nice anyway so I got two of those because I figure this will make one pair of socks for my daughter and a pair of socks for my son because they both have TTP. The next thing I got was this color. Look at that. Ooh, so pretty. And that is Premier Yarns Wool Free, Free Sock Stripes, if I can talk. And that color is Oasis. That is really fun. There's yellow and teal and a lime green and a pretty, um, well, I said teal. There you go. Anyway, so that is really pretty. And I got four of those. So this will make a pair of socks for me and a pair of socks for my daughter and two pairs of socks for my son. So. And then the next one I got, oh, I love this one. Look at this one. This is so fun. This is the Wolfrey Just Sock uh, from Premier. And it is in color Meadows. And it has rust. Let me pull it out a little bit. It has rust, purple, brown, green, um, a tan color, an off-white color. Just very nice. And so I got two of these. So this will make a pair of socks for my husband and a pair of socks for my son. And the last sock yarn I got was this one. Oh, it's so pretty. And this is the Wool Free Sock. And its color is... Okay, I don't know how to say this. S-A-G-U-A-R-O Sky. Is that... Cigaro Sky or Saguaro Sky or anyway, it's one of those. Um, there you go. It's got lime, a blue. It's kind of like a gray blue. I think the colors are looking kind of true on that. Uh, gray blue, a white, a green, a moss green. Just very nice colors. And I got three of those. And so I'm either going to do a pair of socks for my husband and son and daughter or I'm going to do a pair of socks for my husband and son and then this one 
I will make into one of those hats that Ross was doing from Smell Great Guy. He was doing the um, sock weight hats that were really cute. So we'll see which I do because I'll, I'll make um, a hat for my son. The next thing I get is not yarn, but this was on sale and I could not pass this up because it was so cute. But everybody got on the cross stitching bandwagon. And so I had to too. I got this one. This is going to go in my kitchen because I collect ball jars. Um, uh, anyway, I love that pattern. I thought it was so cute. Of course, I bought this and then I remembered I don't really like cross stitching. But I know how. So I will do that eventually. Eventually. The next thing I got, oh my gosh. Hobby Lobby started getting new cake yarns in and I went a little insane just a little bit just a little bit um see if I can balance this on my knee the first one I got look at that it's the new sh yarn B and this is called the Lux Lollies oh my gosh these are so much fun these in them have 502 yards. It's 100% acrylic. Um, it is a medium weight and it is just super soft. I mean, people say wool is soft. This, well, wool is not soft, but you know, like merino and stuff, they say soft. This is soft. This is so soft. And this color is. Oh my pie. No, my oh pie. What? Yeah, my oh pie. Um, anyway, so I have two of these. Two of these. And I have just the shawl in mind for these. Um, the colors are so fun. There's like a teal, there's a light blue, a royal blue, a cobalt blue. Just really pretty pretty colors. And then along that line was, I gotta get out my other one. I have it in two different places. Hold on. Actually, I got, and I got two of these. This color is Dancing Donuts. And this is really fun. I don't know why it's called Dancing Donuts. I mean, again, with the names, people. But this is um, an interesting yarn because I don't know if you can see, but in the yellow, there's specks of other colors in it and in the orange. Yeah, so there's like an orange, a teal, a bright pink, a yellow, and then um, in each, it looks like in each of the transitioning ones, they have like a, a stripe. Anyway, so very fun. Very fun. I have two of these. Next, my sister wants a Memorial Day sweater for the bunny, which will be the last bunny sweater I make. Um, and so I got red for the poppies because I'm going to try to find a poppy uh, flower and do one in the hair and one in the chest. So anyway, this is just, I love this yarn, sport weight in red. And it looks more orange on the camera, but it's, uh, it's just a red. It's just red. The next thing I got, oh my gosh. I got two of these also. Is the new uh, Yarn B Sugar Wheel Cotton. And this color is Gourmet Garnish. Oh my gosh, so fun. And it has 335 yards and is medium weight, 100% cotton. So it has um, greens and different colors of blue. Very nice, very fun. So I have two of these. And then, oh my gosh, and then I saw these. 
these are just the best. This is Yarn Bee Sweet Divinity, these cakes. And this one is very purple. Look at those purples. That is so pretty. I hope that's in focus. Anyway, so this one has uh, 243 yards, and I have two of these. And um, very soft. They are 100% acrylic. No, I lied to you. They are 80% acrylic, 20% nylon. Very nice. Very nice. And then the next I got two. Oh, look at that blue. And this is in cobalt. Let's see if you can see that blue. Just fun, fun striping in there. Just really pretty colors. And again, I got two of those. And I was not done. And then I got the lavender sky, two of those. And they're in this, let me see. This one's a little bit harder to see, I think. It's got, um, you know, varying, sh varying shades of lavender, but it's kind of a gray lavender. But not as gray as it looks on the camera. It's a little bit more vibrant. Anyway, so um, two of those. And then, oh my gosh, I love these two. So um, these are called the Little Dollops, and they are 55% um, uh, acrylic, 45% cotton, and they are 92 yards. Let's see if you can see those colors. There's some orange, all rusty color, pink and purples, and this one is called Ladyfingers. And this one is called Marmalade Morsel. And this one is very muted purples, greens, and pinks. So they're little tiny little things. And then I got one of each of those. Then Hobby Lobby started carrying some Red Hearts Colorscape. So this is the one I got. And this is... Barcelona and it has blues purples and this lime green color and let's see how many yards it is 187 yards um, and let's see four it's a medium weight and it's a hundred percent acrylic very soft not as soft as I love this yarn, um, but it is, it is still pretty soft. And then I got this for free, was the Red Heart Scrubby. Now people use this to make, you know, just scrubbies. Um, as a vegan, I don't use, you know, loofahs, um, well, you know, naturally made because I'm a vegan uh, so I think this would work for a loofah so I'm gonna put this together and scrub the crap out of my skin and we'll see what happens and then the last thing I got was this was on super sale this is normally this is um, lion brands landscape oh my gosh look at those. I got one of these and it is normally $6.99. I got it for, what did I get it for? $1.74 at Hobby Lobby. I was so happy. It's so pretty. It, however, peels like crazy. So it's going to be probably a hat. Probably a hat. But anyway, it is 100% acrylic, 147 yards, a medium weight, and the color is Volcano. That is some wicked awesome colors. I really like that. And then the next one I also got on sale for a dollar seventy-four. It is where's the color? Boardwalk. There we go. That is fun. I really like that. And the last thing I got was um, I discovered 
a new way to make project bags. I was, I had my sewing machine out and I was like, I'm going to learn how to make project bags. So I went ahead and I was looking on YouTube with all the different sites and I realized people have been making their bags wrong. What you need to do is point click and have somebody else make them for you. And so in this instance, I had Amy Ming Mao from Rain Barrel Designs. Let me see. I think I got a card right here. Excuse me. Excuse me. There we go. Rain Barrel Designs. I hope that is somewhat clear. I don't know. On Etsy. But anyway, I love this bag. This so can I not? I just yeah. I just can't help it. It's so cute. Anyway, and it's holding my last thing that I bought, which was so cute. And this is really where I discovered that I really don't like cross stitching. I've gotten that far in six weeks. But anyway, so there's that. Excuse me. My daughter got me a unicorn mug because she loves me. Anyway, so that is my yarn haul video. It was actually a pretty good yarn haul. I mean, it's not Ross level, but I think it's still pretty good. Well, anyway, um, if you have any questions for me, please leave them in the description, not the description, the comment section, because I am going to be doing a Q&A video in the next couple weeks. And so I already have some really good questions. And some of you people's nosy. But if you have any questions, you can ask me anything. Go ahead and leave them in the comment section below, and I'll be happy to get them to you. And I hope you're staying cool because it's hot. Anyway, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.